inshallah we will continue the discussion of Surah Al-Shams, which is number 91. Um, and on our list is the number 15. Um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Last time we saw how the surah starts by, by an oath. But we were able really to make very important inference from the oath itself. Its, uh, its syntax, its structure, its, its construct. Um, to understand a very important aspect in our life, which is really our own selves. And we said that there is no way to solve any issue in life without understanding the human being. And again, and I really want you to, to use this in your conversations with, with your uh, friends, neighbors, relatives, okay? Because it's really a very, very, and, and easy to see it, okay? Simple uh, 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 discussion on the uh, uh, literary, if you like, structure and construct of these few verses of Surah Al-Shams will clarify a very important, as we said, uh, issue in, in our lives. So if you notice, the, 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 the surah, uh, uh, Allah, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the different elements of, and phenomena of the universe. And every one of them will mention it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will mention it with the prefix of al which in English is that, the article that we use to define something. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, وَالشَّمْسِ وَضُحَاهِ وَالْقَمَرِ There is an L also. وَالْقَمَرِ إِذَا تَلَى وَالنَّهَارِ إِذَا جَلَّى وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَى وَالسَّمَاءِ وَمَا بَنَى وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا قَحَى So every one of them, the sun, the moon, the night, the day, the heaven, the earth, all of them have been presented as a defined creature or a, defi a, 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 a defined phenomenon in, in this universe. So they have been defined from the time they were created, from the time of inception they knew what is expected from them and never to our knowledge any one of them has deviated or diverted from its mission in this existence we have not seen the sun coming from from the west for example okay or the moon does not follow the different its different stages okay and so on and so forth. But, but when it comes to the swearing by the human self, there is no al. There is no that. Okay? Which means that the human being is created without pre-existing definition. It is up to the human being to define himself or herself. So really the existence precedes in this manner, okay, the essence of the human being. But we have to be very careful here that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also taught us what would be the ideal uh, essence that we have all to aspire to. 
Although we have been given the, this ability to choose, okay, فَأَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا So it's two pathways. We have this ability to choose to make that definition for ourselves. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us from the beginning that there is a pathway that will lead to success and there is another pathway if we take it, it will really lead to loss. And this, illu this illusion or disappointment Khaba versus Aflaha to succeed. Okay? So that was very important uh, uh, conclusion that we came up with from last time. And you, we can now make the, uh, uh, if you like, the, uh, you can put that in juxtaposition of what you see in the universe. The, the, the day in contrast to the, to the night, okay? <clears throat> yes, in the, in, the, in the realm of the universe, you always see this alteration going in the same order. Day after night, the night comes after the day. You see, so there is this alteration. It, we, we have no uh, uh, hand and even making a change in it. So you see it all the time as a way to remember. But when it comes to, to the human realm, it becomes a challenge. You have to make that conscious decision. You want the light of the day or you want really to stay in the darkness of the night. And we said like not only in the life of the individual, but also in the life of the society, they make sometimes they may make a, a conscious decision about something that will keep them in darkness for a long period of time. Not only that, but the day itself may become like a, a night. But for for those who really follow the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even their night, they will have a night vision. <laughs> they will make that night a peaceful night because now they have the light of the guidance. So even in the darkness, they can still continue that journey. Salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr. This layla will become really a peaceful layla. It's a peaceful night that you can even continue the, the movement. But if the darkness becomes too thick, what will happen? You cannot move anymore. And the question that we asked last time, okay, in the, again, life of societies, in the understanding of the movement of societies, which today it's under really a relatively new science called the philosophy of history. It's not only at, uh, uh, approaching history from a chronological point of view in terms of what happened in a chronological way. It's how we narrate history, is that right? In, nine, in this year, this what happened, in that month of that year, this what happened, okay? That's fine. This is, this is one way of approaching history and it is important to locate things in time and the space. Is that right? Now, every time I want to understand a certain historical event, the first thing I want to know in, in which era that happened. And that gives you a better understanding of what is happening. 